Now Jade McCaleb has dumped more XRP coins, this time 28.6 million coins after his 25 day rest off on selling the XRP coins that he holds. More on this news coming your way. Hello guys, if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing for daily XRP news updates and daily XRP price analysis. But not only that, we'll also be bringing you daily crypto news updates and crypto price analysis. Uh, news that will actually help you in the valuation and analysis of your cryptocurrencies. Now, since that's out of the way, let's get straight into the news. And thanks to you today and uh, Alex Dovnia for this uh, for this piece. And our researcher Leonardis Haji, Haji, Haji Luzu. Pardon me if I mentioned your name incorrectly. But uh, Leonidas, Leonidas has shared that Ripple founder and its first chief technology officer, who is actually no longer with the company, he is... He has uh, moved on and built his own cryptocurrency known as Stellar Lumens XLM. Uh, well, this co-founder, Jade McCaleb, has resumed selling his XRP uh, coins. And uh, this time around, he has sold 28.6 million coins uh, from his taco stand crypto wallet. Now, the total amount that he received from selling these coins is 8.8 million US dollars at the current price rate and of course according to a tweet by Leonidas on January 18 Jade McCaleb sold 28.6 million XRP coins and that was his first sell after a 25-day pause now on December 23rd according to data from analytics website Bithomb well Jade sold 11 million XRP coins and then went quiet but Leonidas assumed that the reason for this break was the SEC lawsuit against Ripple and two of its CEOs, Brad and uh, Larson. And uh, the researcher also reminded, and of course, Leonidas also reminded the, uh, the, the XRP community that McCaleb had already posted his XRP sales previously. But that was to allow the charity where he had donated his XRP to sell his coins that he donated. Of course, this time, Leonidas believes that McCaleb could have been consulting his lawyers or even post selling for many other reasons. And in his own words, Leonidas says that Jade had paused his sales in the past to allow a charity he had donated XRP to, to sell. This time, however, he paused his sales right after the lawsuit. There is no way to know why he resumed. He could have waited for some advice from his lawyers or for a million other reasons one of them being that uh yesterday was a very good time to sell xrp was on a rise it had reached the 30 cents level so maybe he thought well let me get a few before it falls back down that's just my thinking allegedly let me know what you think are the reasons why jed sold but of course in the comment thread he also added that mccaleb was in the process of selling another 9.7 million xrps and of course leonidas believes that uh, uh, Jade McCaleb has around 3.4 billion XRPs left and the initial amount that Ripple was to pay its co-founder for helping set up company was 9 billion XRPs and uh, just recently January 1st Ripple actually wired an gigantic amount of XRP coins 477 million XRP coins so you can imagine how much coins are worth that uh, Jade McCaleb is sitting on right now. But uh, that is what is happening. And of course, as I reported, RippleNet General Manager also. On an, and of course, on another news, RippleNet General Manager Ashish Bela expects that fintech firms will emerge as serious competitors to traditional banking institutions in 2021. And of course, Bila even goes as far as predicting that a cryptocurrency company could soon acquire a legacy, a legacy financial institution. And uh, according to Bila, will, this will be achieved with the help of more robust regulations in the cryptocurrency sector. And of course, Ripple's general counsel, Stu Alderotti, also said that uh, the regulating cryptocurrencies will be a hot button issue for the Biden administration. And of course, after clamoring for regulatory clarity for years, Ripple got sued by the Securities and Exchange Commission back in December and Joe Biden's SEC Chairman Peak, uh, Gary Gensler, has already signaled that his agenda will include special purpose acquisition companies, fintech companies and cryptocurrency abusers. 
and uh, these are words that it said when he was caught uh, when he was uh, actually talking to correspondent from Fox Business Charles Gaspirano so yes that is the news that I collected for you today thank you very much for watching this update if you've reached this far please do consider subscribing and giving us a like because it helps us a lot and uh, also I'd like to know what you think about the stories that we shared today let me know in the comment sections below and uh, stay tuned because we have more videos coming your way and uh, until the next update bye bye hello guys and uh, if you've reached this far thank you thank you very much for watching our videos we really appreciate your love and support and we don't take it for granted now for more news like this please do consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the red button uh, just below this video also feel free to click the like button because by doing that it tells it helps youtube to share our video to more people like you who will be interested in watching our videos uh, so once again i would like to thank you very much for showing support to our channel and um and, and i would like to promise you that your presence does not go unnoticed thank you very much and we are looking forward to having you to having you in the future through uh, more videos that will be coming your way so thank you very much Please stay safe, stay humble, do consider subscribing and clicking the like button. And until the next update, uh, bye bye.